Scott PDX. Today is Monday, April 12th. I'm in my NV200 van heading over to the Oregon coast and going to do a little bit of camping for a couple of days. It's always fun to uh, get out and have an adventure in the van and not just build stuff for it. So uh, this is what one of those adventures looks like. Uh, it's not going to be a real, uh, real big epic adventure or anything like that. It's just going to be a camping trip, but this is one of the reasons I built the van is to be able to hop in it and head someplace and camp out for a couple days. I've actually got uh, a little fun thing in the uh, camper this time. I'm bringing along a little inflatable kayak. So that'll be interesting to try out on the Oregon coast. And uh, I don't think I'm going to go out in the ocean on it, but uh, there's lots of uh, inland waterways that you can explore. And I've got a little uh, canoe trip planned that I'm going to do tomorrow, possibly. So anyways, hope you enjoy the video and we'll talk to you later. Scott PDX out. So, just chilling out in my van over here at, where am I, South Beach State Park uh, by Newport, Oregon. Well, it's still kind of early yet, but I'm uh, just kind of chilling out, watching a little bit of uh, YouTube. I think I'm going to put a movie on here a little bit, have myself a little cocktail, and then uh, have an early night's sleep and get up in the morning and do a little bit of kayaking on the, uh, gosh, I don't even know the name of the river. I'll show the river below where I'm going to go tomorrow and... Uh, Check it out and hopefully have a good time. So, see you in the morning. South Beach State Park. Uh, got over here last night and uh, just visited with my parents a little bit and there wasn't a whole lot to show there so uh, just kind of had a nice evening. Let me show you what it looks like where I am right now. Alright so my van's just right over here. It's a nice campground. It's uh what is it a Tuesday middle of the week so it's not super crowded. My parents are just set up right over here. They're going to go do their own thing today. And then I'm going to go over to the van and uh, I'm going to drive over to a little waterway and do a little kayaking. So that's my NV200. Where's the kayak? There's no kayak there. Well, let me show you. Alright. So. Right there is my latest toy, 
that is a NRS Star kayak. So let me show you the rest of the van. This is in uh, camping mode here. Uh, I already put the bed up for the day. Also I got, got my little Jackery out to do power. Got to put this stuff away and then I'm ready to go for a little paddle. So, I'm here at Ona Beach, also known as uh, Beaver Creek, what is it called? Beaver Creek Natural Area or something like that? I really should know the names of these things better. Uh, yeah, Beaver Creek Natural Area. There's a little uh, canoe launch right here. So I'm going to put my uh, kayak in the water right here and uh, we're going to go do a little exploration. Oh, it's beautiful. It's about 60 degrees. Supposed to be kind of windy, but hopefully it uh, won't be too windy before I get out there. So, here we go. Smells like poo here. I wonder if this is some sort of a sewer thing. It really smells like poo. This is the NRS Star. Sorry about the highway noise. NRS Star Pike kayak. So Star Pike. It's actually technically a fishing inflatable fishing kayak. Good to check my dry bag, because that's not right. It should be watertight. Need more rolls. Kind of like me. Get down in there. Okay. My hat. My water. My paddle. Got a little paddle leash, but I'm not going to use it yet. Although I probably should. Paddle leash. Alright. Clear away.
breaks in my heart It's weighing me down, baby I'm like a river that's overflowed The sooner you know it, the less do we hurt Let me speak the truth I know you don't wanna face it You think it's too late But I can see past the rain Won't you lay it on me Turn the page and burn it Let's make up a big bonfire On the beach with the stars as our lighters And throw our problems in the flame Just exploring this Beaver Creek area on my NRS Star Pike inflatable kayak. Yeah, one nice thing about this kayak is that it does have adjustable foot pegs on it, which is uh, a nice thing to have. The other thing I liked about this kayak over the Aqua Glide is the hole shape. You know, this kind of has a bit of a uh, kind of a narrow V in the very front and the very back that uh, I think would help with tracking quite a bit more than the, the Aqua Glide, which just looked like it was uh, pretty much a flat bottom. some sausages I'll turn that down a little bit. all right so I maybe don't recommend barbecuing inside your van but when it's windier and heck out on the Oregon coast why not <laughs> nice little camping trip. I know I didn't film a whole lot, but uh, you know, I spent a lot of time just visiting with my family and, uh, you know, just doing the camping thing, and that was fun. Got out on the kayak and uh, gave that a try, and uh, that worked pretty good. Uh, incidentally, here's what the kayak looks like in uh, my front seat. So, so that's what I'm putting up with to have a boat. 
is it worth it? I don't know. I, you know, it was nice to get out on it, and uh, I really enjoyed that paddling area. Unfortunately, the wind kind of kicked up and had me a little bit concerned about getting back to the launch, but wouldn't have been a problem in hindsight, but hey, now I know. This was kind of a shakedown run for the kayak, and so uh, next time I'll be more prepared, maybe do a little fishing, and uh, just uh, know better what I'm getting into, and uh, I really enjoyed it. My shoulders are a little sore from paddling, but not too bad. Uh, it's, I can certainly use the workout and uh, looking forward to doing that more as uh, the weather warms up. So other than that, uh, everything worked fine in the van, didn't really have any problems. Uh, you know, every time I go out there's always a few little tweaks and little things to replace and that type of stuff, but for the most part everything worked okay. You know, there is some wiring changes that I want to do in the van. I want to make a, instead of using that Jackery, I think I'm going to drop in a battery and uh, do some more permanent wiring on some things and put some things on a, some switches and uh, install a fan. So. Uh, Looking forward to doing that, and uh, if I do, I'll make a video of it and share that out there. I've got an interesting fan option that I'm going to put in there that'll be a lot of fun that uh, I'd like to share with you all, and uh, we'll see together how that works out. So anyways, that's what's going on. Uh, you know, I don't only build the vans, but I get out and actually camp in them a little bit too. So uh, that's what's going on here. I hope you all enjoyed the video, and you have a good day, and be kind to one another. Like, subscribe, all that crap. And we'll talk to you later. See ya. Whoa. Maybe I shouldn't have that drink. <laughs>